It's no surprise that the whole world has been divided into two teams, Team Amber and Team Johnny. And while many celebrities are staying silent not sharing who they support, others want to make sure the whole world knows whose side they're on. But no one would have expected that a film production family would get caught up in this mess too. So what did Warner Brothers say about Johnny Depp? And why are they suddenly teaming up with Amber Heard? Continue watching to find out. Now that the most watched trial between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard has been over for some time, it seems that people haven't had enough of it yet. So it's no surprise that film producers are looking for a way to make money off of this situation. And it didn't take Warner Brothers long before they released the series they've dedicated to Johnny and Amber. Discovery Plus announced that they're going to release a two-part docuseries called Johnny vs. Amber, The U.S. Trial. The name is pretty self-explanatory. It's a documentary all about the famous trial that took place at the beginning of 2022. It's all going to be about giving the public the chance to make up their own minds about who they think is guilty and who isn't. We don't know why that's necessary since the jury decided that Johnny won. Warner Brothers have been a little too involved in this care from the beginning, especially when they came up with the whole list of do's and don'ts for both Amber and Johnny. This stipulation shows that Warner Brothers didn't allow the two of them to talk about it in court. One of the most important topics that was off limits was the movie Aquaman 2. It seems that Warner Brothers wants to protect their movie and Amber so badly that they threatened Johnny to not mention the movie in the trial. And if he did, he'd be facing a lot of issues. The parties agree that neither Miss Heard nor Mr. Depp will include at trial any reference to Aquaman 2 for any reason, including, but not limited to, any evidence or references supporting or disputing Miss Heard's damages as it relates to her counterclaims. When Johnny's career went downhill, Warner Brothers still gave Amber a chance, which means they're Team Amber all the way. And despite the requests to have Amber cut out of the movie, they didn't listen. Yet they only keep attacking Johnny. And this new docuseries shows how shady Warner Brothers is really being. Don't they have anything better to do? Just take a look at the synopsis of the show that explains what the series is about. The first of the two-part docuseries investigates Depp's side as his team detail his abusive childhood and drug dependencies in front of the world and follows his lawyers as they prepare to cross-examine Amber Heard, presenting an alternative version of events that show Johnny to be a victim of domestic abuse himself. And then it continues to talk about how the second part looks at Heard's account, including her detailed description of alleged essay told on camera for the first time, and how advocates of Depp mercilessly attacked her via social media. Anyone who reads this can see that the show is all about clearing Amber's name and dragging Johnny through the mud. Everyone knows Johnny won, but they don't care, especially Warner Brothers now that Aquaman 2 is going to be released soon. All they want is to make people love Amber again so they don't boycott Aquaman. You'll see this now when the synopsis continues advocating for Amber even more. Heard was forced into court by her ex-husband and Hollywood icon Depp. This documentary looks at Heard's account of the turbulent marriage as she tries to prove that one of the most loved actors in the world was a husband. As global audiences watched on, Heard took to the stand and for the first time described in graphic detail serious allegations of only to become vilified on social media. This episode looks at the story behind viral memes and the woman the world chose to hate, but who kept on fighting. Johnny is trying to get his life back really hard, and he even had a surprise appearance at the VMAs as a start. But that's going to be hard with Amber conspiring against him all the time. He wanted to put all of this behind him, but he and Amber are going to be the talk of the whole world once again after everyone watches the docuseries. Thankfully, Johnny's fans are still sticking up for him. During the trial, all of them said they'd boycott Aquaman 2 when it comes out, and even made a petition for everyone to sign. This fan tweeted, Just to be clear, we're all gonna boycott Aquaman 2 when it releases, right? And everyone agreed that they will. But before Aquaman comes out, they now have another show they need to boycott. As this other user said, I won't be giving them any views. I can only imagine how they're gonna spin it. Of course, everyone agrees. The last thing Johnny's fans want is to give any more attention to Johnny in this documentary. Joe K tweeted, I won't watch it. Warner Brothers fired Johnny and kept Amber Heard, and now they're going to profit off his pain to help bail themselves out of the mess they've made. No way. Warner Brothers will soon see that being on Amber's side isn't going to bring them anything good, and when they see all the backlash they're going to receive after the docuseries is released, they'll regret ever working with Amber in the first place. They can't just decide to take sides now after the jury gave their verdict. Meanwhile, Johnny's just staying unbothered through all the shade. If you like this video, just wait until you watch this other one.